All right, folks, here's a quick video for you. Uh, so Creeps McPasta, or some toad acting on his behalf, false flagged a bunch of my videos. Now, YouTube upheld some of them as not being, you know, whatever, and some of them they're looking into further, like two of them. Uh, I've talked to YouTube and I've said, hey, here's the deal, you know, Creeps McPasta proven to be, you know, lying about all this grooming and stuff like that, so congratulations to whoever flagged the videos. You just made YouTube personally aware of the accusations. Uh, anyway, I figured I'd put these uh, videos into one video uh, by recording a completely new thing and posting it up. Uh, congratulations again to whoever filed the reports, the false reports. You now have made me post another video showing what you wanted to hide, meaning now more people will be shown and will be aware of it. So good work, dude. Uh, anyway, what we're doing is we're gonna go and replicate the first video. The first video was me showing that uh, Kumori's email address was not created in 2019. There were some people lying, some sock puppet accounts lying, saying uh, Kumori's email address was created in 2019, so it couldn't have been that she talked to Chris McPasta in 2012. And they're just making up this bullshit uh, to try to discredit the victim. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on Tumblr here, we're going to go to following, we're going to put in Kumori's old email address, which we have permission to do, and which she you know, sent me screen recordings of to post on the channel for all the people who are concerned about that. And we're going to hit follow. Boom. Kuro-chan Fox. All right? So we've got her blog here. Now, what does that mean? It's blank, of course, because as we've stated before, her social media profiles were blanked or deleted. Uh, and here we go. 2012 to 2021, meaning that this account was registered in 2012, meaning the email address to which this is registered to was created in or before 2012 proving that it was not created in 2019. So all the sock puppet bullshit, goodbye, goodbye to that, that is disproven. All right, next we're gonna remake our second video, and we're going to show that Creeps McPasta lied about never using Chatango and never knowing what it was. This is a real interesting one, because the first video that was falsely flagged, uh, the false reports on the other video, what was it reported for? Showing Kumori wasn't lying? Like, that's kind of interesting, you know, that you would, you know, you're trying to hide that information. It shows that one of the sock puppets did it, because they were trying to hide the fact they lied. Uh, and as I said, I believe the sock puppets may be Creeps McPasta himself, but, you know, that's more or less just my gut feeling, because he was the only one notified of the uh, subreddit mod ship takeover. So when a sock puppet knows that, it means it's Creeps McPasta, because he was the only one notified. So, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to recreate this fucking uh, Chetango thing. We're going to go jacobmonkey at hotmail.com on the bottom here, and we're going to add the friend. And we're connecting. Boom. There's Creeps with Pasta. It'll take a minute for the image to load here. I don't know why it's so slow today. But yeah, there we go. Creeps with Pasta proven to have a Chetango account. This is registered to his email address. All right? We're even going to go a little further. We're going to rub this in the face of... Uh, the person who false flagged the video. Hey, special message. Just to you, the guy who false flagged the video. Look what you did. Alright, we're gonna go Mr. Creepypasta at gmail.com. Add him on Chetango. What do you know he was on Chetango too? Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean he did anything wrong. We're just showing that he was on it too. Who do we want to go with next? Let's go with Creeps McPasta's other email address. Creeps McPasta at gmail.com. Oh! That's registered to an account, too. That means Creeps McPasta had two Chetango accounts when he said he didn't even know what the site was. Both of his email addresses are registered here. Now, granted, this is just a blank gibberish account. It probably was deleted at some point. You know, he probably cleared out the information, you know, changed the name by, you know, striking a bunch of keys on the keyboard, deleted the image, you know, so on and so forth. For whatever reason, we don't know. Uh, there are other people on here, like... Creepypasta Jr., but this is by finding the name, not the email address, so we can't prove this is actually him. This may be uh, uh, somebody pretending to be him. We have no idea, because, you know, it's found by typing in the name, not, you know, the email address. Uh, so that's about it. I just wanted to put those two videos into one video and re-upload it with a little bit of extra information. Uh, I guess this will probably get false flagged, too. Download all these videos and re-upload them somewhere. You guys have my full permission to uh, download every single video I've made about Creeps McPasta or the Creepy Leak stuff or any of this shit. You know, any of the stuff about other people doing 
wrong in the community. You guys all have my permission to download those and upload those anywhere, you know? Because I don't monetize them, and as long as you don't, I don't give a shit, share them around. And the only reason I would care is because it would be kind of, you know, shitty if you did. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Fucking good work. <laughs> good work, Sock Puppet. Good work, Grease McPasta. <laughs> really great. Uh, really great plan there.